What is going on everybody? Haven't seen you guys for seven months. It's been a long seven months. So a quick update on our life. We're moving back to Hawaii in a couple weeks or three weeks to be exact. And then Caitlin just graduated from college. She got her master's degree. But we just got a rental car right now. And then we're gonna do everything that we don't have back at Hawaii. But yeah, we're trying to figure out what's wrong with our rental car. Our GPS isn't working right now. So I don't know if it's, we don't have signal. Cause we got, gosh, we got the GPS on. But when I click on this, and then if I go search, and then type in something. <clears throat> See, it's not popping up or anything. Which is weird. <clears throat> I think it's because probably we gotta be out of the garage or something. But, oh, look at the lighting changed. There you go. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out. This is our first stop in Louisville, Kentucky. We're at Justin House Suburban. The, uh, yeah, we're gonna meet up with this guy named Travis. He runs the, he's the management of this place. He's the only guy right now. Justin House Suburban? Justin's House Suburban, yeah. We are a vintage whiskey shop. Mm -hmm. We do uh, mostly bourbon, rye, um, do some non-American whiskey items as well, but mostly bourbon. Um, we sell your regular retail items. We've got kind of the hard to find stuff and uh, a ton of the, the old vintage whiskey, pretty much everything from before Prohibition up to wow. today. And uh, we also have a bar, which is closed right now, but usually we do single pours, flights, beers, cocktails, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, we love to talk bourbon, drink bourbon, buy bourbon, sell <laughs> bourbon. What time does you guys bar open? Uh, whenever the governor tells us we can. Oh, okay, I see. So what is your, um? Your oldest bourbon right now that you have in the store? We've got some over here from before Prohibition up here at the oh, wow. top. How old are those? Uh, from the early 1900s. Wow, those are for sale also? Yep, everything. So everything everything in the store is for sale, basically. Correct. Yep. So how are those four roses? You see, you like four roses way better than black and so. Yeah, four roses is my favorite for four sure. Years. So all those are really good. Have you been to the Four, four Roses Distillery? Mm -hmm. yeah. Many times, absolutely. What about Willits? Yep. Willits? Yep, many times as Which well. Which is your favorite, Willits or Four Roses? I mean, the best distillery. I think Four Roses is the best distillery, yeah. but Willit is probably more fun experience. Yeah. A little small family-owned distillery. Oh, why? Quick yeah. tour, it's all in one place. Here we've got uh, all our merchandise and all our barrel picks. Some of the harder to find items mm -hmm. are uh, travel bottles, and then of course our non bourbon section. Oh, here. you got bourbon cream also? I heard bourbon those bourbon, yeah, best. I heard the, those bourbon cream are the best. They're like good on pancakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You just add a little root beer to it, huh? Yeah, that or um, put it in your coffee. Yeah, that's <laughs> what people said too. Yeah, you got your regular retail here, the bar. Of course, we saw that. Oh, could you show me those on Pabby Winkles again? Yep, right there in the middle. The other ones right there. 10, 12, 15, 20, and 23. Wow. Yeah, like I said, I haven't seen a Pabby Winkle bottle in my, in my life. And all the cases back here. Cool. More Pabby up there. Those are super cool. Those are hard to find, you said, right? Like, yeah, they come out once a year. Possible. Once a year. 
Oh, wow. We have, uh, back here we have our speakeasy tasting room. And do you have to reserve this online or do you call? How do you reserve this room? Um, usually when we're doing normal business that you can do it online. Uh, but right now you just have to call and actually, well, right now you can't even use it, but yeah, yeah whole... normal circumstances, either way, we have it online or, uh, you can call. Yeah. So like I said, though, Travis took care of me. I bought four, four bourbons from him and he's a pretty cool guy. Um, he, he held it for what, a week and a half for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we can have to that. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, he takes phone orders also and he ships to any state you're at. I'll leave, leave his number, his name, and the address to this Justin Bourbon's house. What yeah. else is? We don't, uh, we can find you anything. Um, if we don't have it, we'll find it. Mm -hmm. If we can't find it, you probably should be drinking something else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you do come, tell him Johnny's from Johnny's Life came. See this guy traveling. So that open bar, he said the best time to go is two to five because um, he said the this whole coronavirus situation, he said the best time to go is two to five right after work. All right guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. We're back in Indianapolis. I'm dead tired. It was a two hour freaking drive. Both ways. <laughs> Both ways, yeah. So four hour drive total. Well, I'm gonna end it back here. Well, you did I mean, drive I'm... an hour from one from one mall to the other. Yeah, yeah, but I'm dead tired, so I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>